Hi everyone, welcome to the PSLE Mathematics Problem Solving Strategy Series. I'm Yang Iskandar from Edufran Learning Center. Today I'm going to share with you the supposition or the assumption strategy. Now this strategy is a very powerful yet easy to use strategy commonly found in the more challenging paper 2 of the math exam. Now I'm going to illustrate this method using an actual past PSLE question. Now let's take a look at this question. This question is taken from PSLE 2013, paper 2, question 15. Ming sold a total of 368 large and small durians at the prices shown below and collected $2,760. How many large durians did Ming sell? Now it's given in the question that each durian costs, each large durian costs $9 and the small durian costs $5. Now, the challenge in this question is that there are two key variables. The first variable is the number of durians. So here, in this question, it's given that the total number of durian is 368, large and small. The other variable, important variable, is the prices of each durian, okay, which is given as $9 for each large durian and $5 for each small durian. Now let's take a look at a very common method that many students would use, which is the guess and check method. Now there's nothing wrong with the guess and check method. In fact, many students are very familiar with this method since lower primary. Okay, but it has certain limitations. Okay, first I'm going to illustrate how this method or how, how this question is being solved using the guess and check method. Okay, so basically in the guess and check method, students make a guess. Right, so it's stated here that there are 368 large and small durians. So first, the students will guess, okay, make a guess that say there's 200 large durians. So the number of small durians would be 368 minus 200, you get 168. So since each large durian is $9, so $9 multiplied by 200, you get $1,800. And since each small durian is $5, so 168 multiplied by $5, you get $840. And the overall total, if you add 1,800 plus 840, you get 2,640. Now, do you meet your target? No, because the targeted collected amount is 2,760. So in this uh, guess, okay, you put a cross. Alright, so you need to Make another guess. Okay, so now student, let's say the student guessed that the large durian is 210. So small durian will be again 368 minus 210, you get 158. And the total we can see it is 2680. Still, we have not reached the targeted amount of 2760. And the students will go on to make guess and check, guess and check, until finally the student gets 230 large durian and 138 small durian, which meets the requirement of this question, which is $2,760 of the overall total amount collected. Okay, so it's possible to use the guess and check method, but there are many limitations. Number one, you can see that it's long and tedious. Number two, students are prone to making careless mistakes. And if they make careless mistake here, you know, after spending say 15, 20 minutes in this question, you know, just by one careless mistake, they lose all the marks. Okay, so I'm going to show you the alternative method, which is the assumption or the supposition method. Now in this method, or in this strategy, we have to make a certain assumption. Okay, we can either assume that all the durians are small or all the durians are large. Okay, so I'm going to show you both. Both will get the same answer. Okay, so in the first part here, I'm going to assume that all durians sold are small. Okay, so since each small durian is $5, so if you assume that all the large, uh, so all the durians are small, so 368 multiplied by $5, you get $1,840. Now, this is obviously 
very different from the actual amount collected, which is $2,760. Okay, so the next step here is we find the difference. What is the difference between the actual amount collected and the amount collected if we were to assume that all the durants sold are small? So here, the difference, you get $920. Now, the next step is I would need to find what is the unit price difference between a large durant and a small durant. So $9 minus $5, you get $4. Okay. Now, how many large durants are sold? Since the difference between the actual amount collected and when I make the assumption that all durants are small is $920, so I divide this difference with the difference of the unit price. So $920 divided by $4, I get the answer of 230 large durants. Right? Now I can also assume that all durants sold are large. I will get the same answer. The only difference is that I will need to make an additional step in the end, okay, which is not a problem. Okay, let's try to check this out. Now, if I assume that all durants are large, so since each durant is $9, each large durant is $9, so 368 times $9, I get 3312 which is obviously different from $2,760, which is the actual amount collected. So what caused this difference? Now, we know that, obviously, the reason for this difference is that because there are also small durians which may sell. Okay, so what's the difference then between the total amount collected based on our assumption and the actual amount collected? So, 3,312 minus 2,760, I will get $552. Now, again, the next step is to find the unit price difference between the two durians which is $9 minus $5, I'll get $4. What's the next step? So I'll divide the difference between the actual amount and the, my assumption, which is $552, with the unit price difference, I get 138 And this is the number of small durands sold. Since the question asks for the number of large durands main sell, so I just need to subtract. 368 minus 138, I get 230, which is the answer. Alright, so I hope you have benefited from uh, this uh, video clip. So if you like this uh, video clip, do share with your friends. Parents, if you are keen to know more about our maths programs, do check out our website at www.edufront.com. If you have any inquiries or feedback, do send me an email at principal at edufront.com. Thank you for watching and all the best for the PSLE.